Hi, this is Ira Gorlick, and welcome to the lecture on Obstacles to Getting Good Information. I like this quote from Will Rogers, It isn't what we don't know that gives us trouble, it's what we know that ain't so. Getting good information is important, but there's some obstacles to getting good information. And I'm going to go over four of those obstacles. I'm going to talk about optical illusions. I'm going to talk about selective perception. I'm going to talk about confirmation bias. And I'm going to talk about motivated reasoning. So let's talk about optical illusions. These are pretty famous, and, and most of you may already know these things. Uh, is this the picture of an old woman or a young woman? And the old woman here, uh, if I can take the mouse here and point out this is her mouth this is the old woman's nose right here uh, and this is her eye and this is her hair and this is her hat um, now if I'm looking at the young woman this is the young woman's nose and this is the young woman's ear and this is the young woman's chin so it's the old woman's nose it's the young woman's chin um, so hopefully you, you start seeing that. Once you see the old woman and young woman, it's hard to move back. Uh, it's, it, it's hard to really focus on one. You keep going back and forth. This is another pretty famous optical illusion. Is this a vase or vase, as the case may be, or two faces? Uh, another good optical illusion we see here is uh, those lines are actually straight. Uh, but because of the way the lines uh, converge on the center, they look like they're bent. So this is another optical illusion. The top line is actually the same size as the bottom line. Uh, it might look larger, but it's actually the same size. Let me show you. See? They're both the same size, but because of the optical illusion, the top one looks bigger. And the, and the reason I bring this up is that we often think what we see is true, but because of optical illusions, it's not. So in the next section, I will talk about selective perception.